Hi, this is Ija from Roigo. This is the third day for the white paper walkthrough, and、uh, thanks for interested in this. And today,、uh, we're gonna go through about the protocol overview and the、uh, basic of the like zero knowledge proof. I don't want to go deep like the math stuff for zero knowledge proof because that can be like you can you can learn that from other like books or like. Videos. I just want to show you some examples so you know the basic idea and what 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 is like zero knowledge proof. Okay, so、um, so yesterday we talk about the limitation of the current solution, like say、uh, to do this do this to、um, on Ethereum. Is so you can do a commit and then you open and then you settle. So the problem is like、uh, the fairness can be ensured, but there's no privacy. Because at the step three,、uh, all the other on the blockchain can see the choices and they know the winner, right? So this is a actually this is a pattern about like how you for the this time. So the pattern for this is actually hash review pattern. So the first step is like you commit and you submit the hash、uh, and the plus some random string to the contract, and then second step you open it. You wait for both party commit committed, and then you review、uh, your choice in the random string, so you can prove that okay, that's that's my commit, and then things get executed on chain, and then but the problem is like the privacy is temporary preserved, right? So privacy is preserved before open, but after open, then there's no privacy. So. So today's outline is more about the prop, yeah, protocol overview and the, the zero knowledge proof. So I talk about like the the product, the our like design. It's like our solution. Solution is similar to the hash review. So that's why I talk about yesterday, like how I generate this idea, right? So the first step is still like say submit the com commit of the input. So in this step, that no one knows your choice, only there's a hash on chain, right? And the、uh, the second step, the, so the difference is like the second step is execute the contract off chain. So if you execute the contract, you open it on chain. You execute the contract on chain. That means you need to open it on chain, right? And then everybody on the chain, everybody, all of the nodes will know your input, right? Then. So you on you can only like execute it off chain. So in by this way you can ensure the privacy. I will talk about the the detail in next slides, and the, and the third step is like we guarantee the correctness by verify the zero knowledge proof from the contract, which I will I will introduce like a zero knowledge proof later, and the, so this is the this is the the picture for like our over protocol overview. So the first step is like commit. You first need to prove to the blockchain. So if you want to hide your like amount, then you need to prove to the to the blockchain. Say okay, similar to Zcash, you prove to the prove to the blockchain. Say okay, I have enough money for this contract, but I don't want everybody know like how much is the I mean how 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 much like money I have. But I just give you a proof that this is a zero knowledge proof that I have the, I have enough money, okay, and you don't know what's the exact amount, but I, I have it, and then also I need to commit my in, commit my commitment, to the blockchain, so okay, so let let the blockchain record my commitment, so I cannot change my input again, right? I cannot change the input,、uh, at the second step, so which can guarantee the fairness, so. At the first step of commit, I need to, besides given the proof, say okay, I have like enough money, and、uh, also I need to, given the commit to the blockchain and record it to to make sure that I cannot change the input anymore, right? And、uh, after all of the party member, like say commit their inputs, then that goes to the second step, which is execute. So the execute do is like. The blockchain will select a random executor off chain. It could be yourself or could be like any nodes, and then there's an executor, 
and all of the participants need to send their like inputs to the executor. It's by in, it's encrypted by the executors like public key, so nobody else except uh, except except the executor will can know the inputs. So it's actually protected, right? So there's no one no one in the black blockchain can know the know the inputs. And this step need to be recorded on blockchain because you you can cheat to everybody else say, okay, I already sent you the input, but you don't, right? So for example, it'll say, okay, you commit the paper and then you don't want to play the game anymore. And then you cheat, you say, okay, I didn't send, I didn't, uh, I already sent the input, or I already opened the input to, to the executor, but there's no, no like evidence. So, so the second step is like when you send the, Encrypt the input to the executor. There are also evidence on the blockchain to record this behavior, so that nobody else can like deny or or, or say that they already sent the, the input. So uh, I will talk about this like uh, maybe maybe you didn't get that. I will talk about this detail stuff uh, in later slides. So in this step is like I saying I encrypted the inputs. It's more like an open step. It's similar to, to the hash review, the open step. But the open is not open to the blockchain. It's open to the off-chain executor. But there need to be evidence on the blockchain to record my open step so that there's nobody can deny, say, I already opened it, but, that, but he doesn't open it. So that's the second step. You send the data, encrypted data, to off-chain and then to the off-chain executor. And then the third step is like the, the off-chain executor gets all of the inputs. If there's no inputs from someone, or we'll say there's, if, if someone doesn't open their, open their inputs, we can say, okay, this participant aborts. And then let's say if everyone submit their inputs, executor get all of the inputs and then executor can run this contract and get their result. And then putting back the stuff to the blockchain. If they if, if the executor put back the result as like a normal, then the blockchain will still record all of the all of the like the output as public, right? So this is not something we want. So so there's some trick on the executor. It's like the executor doing a zero knowledge proof. It's like say, I prove that I already executed the contract, and the, this bunch of stuff is the result. And you can verify, you can verify my proof to prove that okay, this is my statement, saying that I already executed, and the stuff is correct, and that this is the result, and this statement will be true if you verify my proof. So. Then, so actually, the executor do is like sending back, sending back a computation proof to the blockchain, and the blockchain will verify the computation, and the transaction will get recorded. So okay, so then, so the blockchain actually, so this is the several steps. So what blockchain do in our protocol is like firstly, you need to verify the proof of like you have enough money and uh, record the commitment that no one can change the commitment anymore because yeah blockchain can guarantee that right and the second step is like uh, guarantee you already open to the executor and that's the evidence for you already like open to the executor and the third step is verify the zero knowledge proof given by the executor to say, okay, you already did your job and then the job is correct. And also record the transaction. So this is what the third, uh, three, three steps for Oracle's protocol. And then I, I mentioned a lot about zero knowledge proof and people may, may curious. I mean, I, I think lots of, uh, lots of, 
people know zero knowledge proof, but definitely there there are also people who don't know zero knowledge proof. So I want to give some like a short example about zero knowledge proof, so that um, I I hope like every everybody can at the same stage. So this is a simple example, uh, usually used to 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 say zero knowledge proof. Is say there's a turtle, and then this Victor and the Peggy. And the Peggy know, and in the in the middle of the turtle, there's a gate. And the Peggy knows the password for the gate. But she doesn't want Victor know his part know this password, because usually usually when you when you prove to Victor say okay. I know the password to the gate is like you bring Victor with you, right? With P uh, with Peggy, and to the gate, and then you input the password and the gate open. But by this way, Victor will know Peggy's password. So it's like there's no zero, there's no uh, Victor will have the knowledge of that of this password, right? So could Peggy do something to let Victor believe that? She has the password, but making Victor doesn't know actually the password. The way Peggy do is like Peggy first in go into this terminal, and then choose either A, direction A or direction B, and then when Peggy in this terminal, he let Victor know Victor in, and then let Victor choose her. Choose the output, like cho choose the choose the way that Peggy outs. Victor can say, "Okay, please come from B." Then, in this case, Peggy will open the gate and then go through B to to Victor. But you may you may say, "Okay, maybe Peggy is already like goes through B B terminal and he she doesn't need to open the gate and she can return back, right?" So. This is a fifty percent chance, right? So if you run this like for sev for enough times, like you do it again, 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 then every time you get fifty percent chance, right? So when you when every when you do like lots of times, and every time Peggy can prove, like he can go from the right turn off that Victor wants, then it actually proved to. Victor say, "Okay, you have the password. If you don't have the password, then you cannot like always from the terminal I want, right? So by this way, Victor know that Victor have the through through this kind of game, Victor know okay, you definitely have the password. But in this way, I don't know your password, right? So this is a this is a process for like interactive zero knowledge proofs." So this is the basic basic idea, and uh, in general, it's like something say a party can prove to another party that he knows X without revealing any information about X. So you maybe you also see like example about Sudoku. It's like say I can prove to someone else I know the answer to a Sudoku without revealing all of my like answers. It's like a mathematic tricks about that, but yeah, there's another example about this. So for for Origo, <coughs> the main is, the main statement is to say, okay, I proved that the contract for I mean it's from the from the executor is saying that I proved that the contract is executed without revealing any information about the execution. So when I give out this statement, you verify it. You know, I already executed the contract correctly, but you don't know the the detail, the stuff about the contract, about the execution. So, which can keeps the inputs and out outputs private. And you may think about, okay, whether this feasible is any like a, is this like academic stuff or or whether it's like a, something we can use? Yeah, definitely is. The stuff is already like industry used. So the one tool names like zk snarks, it's like a, without any interaction between prover and verifier, verifier and and giving us the zero knowledge proof, 
in 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 the <coughs> in terms of like a, the full name is zero knowledge specific Sustain a non-interactive argument of knowledge. This is like a pretty long stuff, and then uh, each wording here has like a, has a meaning, and uh, I don't want to like introduce all of this stuff. So this is what I use in Zcash and uh, to prove the private transaction is valid. So this this tool is already used, right? And then it's it's like a pretty efficient. We we already did like a. Uh, lots of experiment on that and then it's pretty efficient especially on on verifiers verify side so which is on chain it's like pretty fast so uh this basically is the today's tutorial and the today's like a uh, walkthrough uh we mainly talk about the uh, our the protocols overview and uh, what's the yeah basic basic background uh, about the zero knowledge proof and uh, tomorrow i will goes through the detail of the protocol like by step by step and the uh, uh, detail like what's the what's what's within the first step commit what will be commit and what kind of proof it, the the stuff need to do and uh, and go on yeah uh, thanks for listening to this and uh, have a great day